Nick Curios, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Didn't you talk to Ben Stiller? Ben Stiller was in the crowd, and then there was someone next to him trying to tell me how to play. I said, dude, do I tell Ben Stiller how to act? Just shut up. Like, <laughs> my girlfriend seems yeah. to think that your girlfriend yeah. helps you get your act together. Yeah, I mean, my girlfriend was probably. Like, <laughs> dude, you fought Floyd Mayweather. You being the dog. Nah, nah, nah. I don't even dog, care. Bro. I don't care. <laughs> if you ever box again, I'm not going to be able to watch because, like, I like you. Would you be able to watch George Box? Yes. <laughs> yeah, this is turning <laughs> into some Bobby Lee energy over here. <laughs> <laughs> I would say you have a, some some McDonald's, but you had some Maccas. Ma Ma Maccas? Maccas yeah. stuck Maccas. in your front tooth. Yeah. Which one? I don't see it. I, I think you might have got it when I told you. Yeah? Yeah. Man, these Invisalign have done my teeth wonders, I got to say. I wish they could do that for the rest of your face. <laughs> Mike Malak, good to meet you, buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Impulsive, the number one podcast in the world. That's a fact. Why do I lie about that? We're in Melbourne, Australia. That's not true. We're in Sydney, <laughs> Australia. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. We have a legend in the house. I can't believe it. An actual really. legend in the house. I got, I got a legend of Australia. No, you're a legend, bro. Everyone loves you around America. I got an intro for you. Well, love uh, is... They have feelings. Yeah, they have feelings. They got feelings. I'm used to that. Matters. Love is so that. close to hate. Hate is love. Like they're, 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 If people boo, if they cheer, it's the same thing. It is the same thing. I got, I got an intro, dude. Uh, they, they normally suck. My producer <laughs> writes them. This one's okay. I'm going to do it today. Okay. <sighs> Our guest today is considered by some as the bad boy of tennis. But you can't deny he is one of the greatest players in the world. He went to the finals with Djokovic and can currently be seen on Netflix's Breakpoint. It's Australia's own Nick Kyrgios. Ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate it, guys. First question. <clears throat> yes, what percentage of people pronounce your last name properly the first time around? Zero percent. Z actually yeah. zero? But you have a Greek on set here, right? I just, there he is over there. He, oh yeah, we got one Greek? Yeah, yeah. Um, I can just tell by his <laughs> accent straight away. Um, no, but 0% of people. We, we, I had to be told like 14 times. Yeah, dude. it's the G. I the mean, G I, I had, I had Kyrgios, I had Cheerios. I had, I mean, dude, I could not get it right. So it's Greek in. Origin, yeah. My dad's Greek origin. and my mom's Malaysian. So weird mix. No, so you, see, you I knew, call, I knew I was going to get it right. I knew yeah. I was going to get it right. <laughs> I, 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 wa I watch you, bro. I, I, cause my girlfriend, I had a brand new girlfriend last year, pretty excited about it. Yeah. And she was a big tennis fan. <clears throat> and she's like, this guy is really fucking entertaining to watch. <laughs> he, it, he gets, he gets emotional and then he kills it and he barely plays. And, yeah. and so that I became invested in the Nick Kyrgios storyline and, uh, man, what you've done for the sport, you've like infiltrated culture. Yeah. I mean, that's what I tried to do. Um, you know, I've been singled out for the last five years of my career. The only person kind of, you know, dresses a bit differently. Like I love NBA. I love the culture yeah. in America. So it's been a hard five years, that's for sure. But, um, you know, I've definitely, um, been a big part of like a big role model for the youth and just being yourself. And, you know, I, that's why, you know, when you guys reached out and I wanted to be on here so bad because you guys just, you know, do your own thing. You, you just, you know, you just, you're mad, dude. Fuck everyone, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> like you're so you're so young, and what you've done for the sport again. Like, uh, 19 years old, 19 years old, you beat Nadal. Is that that's correct? Yeah. And then and then and then uh, Djokovic w Wimbledon finals. Yeah, I mean that was my chance. That was really my chance. You're gonna get another chance, bro. I know, but if I honestly won that, I think I would have retired. Honestly. <laughs> no way. Yeah, at least for a year or two. That's what I'm saying. Everyone retires like three times nowadays. Yeah. Like, how, how many times can you actually retire? But dude, you, you're a, you're a, a, a prodigy of sorts because when I was watching Breakpoint, um, I didn't realize how little you actually play tennis. Are you still like a couple months a year for the like? Are you practicing regularly? Um, well, I just recently had surgery on my left knee. I got out three weeks ago. Oh shit. So I can't play for a little while now. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's more of a hobby for me, to be honest. That's like, ridiculous. I go about it. <laughs> <laughs> what, would you, what would you do if you if you won Wimbledon, right? Mm. You you went there wearing like a, an astronaut's outfit. You said, fuck you, I'm not wearing white, right? You win Wimbledon. What would you do if you retired the next day? Like, what would your next gig be? Oh, I mean, I would just chill at home. I love gaming. Um, What's your Call of Duty? Call of Duty, Fortnite. For all that type of stuff. Mario love Kart, Nintendo Switch. Absolutely <laughs> love Nintendo Switch. <laughs> like Pokemon's like my thing as well. I love your shoes. Yeah. Can we show uh, the shoes real quick? Honestly, I knew if I wore these, <laughs> you were going to pick up on it. Of I course, knew. bro. Yeah, and everyone that, pointed yeah. them out to me when you walked in. Massive. Look at this. Like, this. Love it. We we got play Squirtle Pokemon on every them? day. Yeah. Every day. What, what, what do you play? Pokemon Unite, like on Nintendo Switch. You got to play it, bro. If you bro, haven't played it, it's unbelievable. I've been looking for a Pokemon game to bro, play. It's, you know, League of Legends type thing. It's yeah. like that, but Pokemon. It's so good. You've just addicted me. Would to you? This would game. you ever start? <laughs> would you ever start like a Twitch channel and start? I, I did for a bit when I wasn't playing, but tennis, like from especially from Australia, you have to travel like seven, eight months a, a year yeah. to play. So it's it's pretty hard. 
to just, you know, keep up with that. Cause tennis is brutal, man. Like, I, yeah. I, I, I uh, want to talk about so much more than tennis, but being the tennis star that you are, and I have, uh, so many questions related to the solo aspect of the sport, yep. because that is what blew my mind about tennis. Um, my mom played growing up, but I, I didn't really know that much about professional tennis mm -hmm. and watching you and your peers be on this court for God knows how long up the games that are five hours yeah. and, and you have to stay so locked in. How is that not only physically exhausting, mm. but mentally I can't stay focused on things for more than six seconds, man. Like how are you doing that for five hours? I haven't figured that out yet either. I'm pretty <laughs> impulsive on the court. Like I have a lot of ups and downs, right. but um, you know, it's just, it's tough because you might play for four or five hours and then you have one day off and you have to go, you have to do it again. And then that's seven times in a row to win a grand slam. So it's almost impossible. And for you even walking out on the court by yourself, mm. carrying your bags, like everything's it, done solo. Out such there. an individual sport, man. And I don't know. I, I, I know from a boxing perspective, mm. right? When, when that bell rings oh. and, and you're in that furnace, there's nothing like it. And, and it's probably why, I mean, I don't want to assume, but you get so into it because there's no one to blame. Definitely. It's, you know, but yeah. yourself. Yeah, it's, it's, it's boxing essentially just without any contact. You, you, know? you, you have boxing energy. I think that's why people fucking love you. You're a badass, dude. I would never get in the ring. I'm a bit of a pussy like that. <laughs> no, <laughs> dude. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, look, it's, it's tough. And for me, it's just that you lose pretty much every week in tennis, which is hard. People don't realize it's not just one match you're there. Like you might lose and then you just got to train all week and then travel to the next spot and play again might lose again. So and there's only one winner every week. So it's, it's brutal. You take a loss, you just got to move forward. It's, it's hard. Those marathon matches are crazy. I, who, who was it like a couple weeks ago, they wouldn't let him go pee? Yeah, Andy, was, Andy Murray. That was yeah. crazy, bro. Like yeah. you, at least you get out of the ring and like- That was six hours though, that match went. Six hours and they wouldn't let him go to the bathroom and he spazzed out. He said, yeah. yo, like this is unacceptable. Yeah. Like, I need to and go And it was to 4 a.m. in the morning as well. Insane. Yeah. Nah, come Wait, what come happened? On. Did he pee his pants? What did we? How, like, did, he, how did we end this? <laughs> yeah, I still don't get that. Like, what in. do they? What do they expect you to do? Just not, just like really not because because here's my question about that. <clears throat> how are you supposed to? The Aust Australian Open was mm. what last month, right? Yep. A couple few weeks ago. Yeah. 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 90, 100 degrees out at the time. Yep. So you have to stay extremely hydrated or you're going to pass out and die, right? Yep. So what do they expect you to do <laughs> if you can't leave and, and, and pee? Well, they have a heat rule now. If it gets to a certain level of heat, you just stop the match. That's what they do now. Okay. But they didn't usually have that. But the pee thing is just stupid. Like the tennis rules are so dumb. Like I'm always in arguments with the umpire. I see will, you get will you get fined for saying that? Yeah. No, not now, but I've, I've been fine. I'm the leading fine guy. Oh, I know. Oh, we know. I don't know it's why I'm saying PDF. that so pr proudly. But like, Wait, yeah. what's the, what's the, like the easiest fine you got? And you're like, what? Oh, that can't be a fine. Well, there's some footage of me. Like I was at this really prestigious tournament and I pretended to jerk off with a water bottle. I got fined. <laughs> <laughs> I got fined $15,000. This is what it says. No That's actually not bad. But it's bad for tennis. If you had done uh, it with a prime bottle, they would have paid for your fine. <laughs> That's true. He said, you've actually been suspended by ATP before and received more fines for his temperamental on-court behavior look. than any other player in ATP <laughs> history. <laughs> Let me see it again. No. <laughs> Why did you do that, man? <laughs> Yo, you came. You yeah. came with the bottle. You squeezed the bottle. Do you I just, actually don't know. Do I you just, just not give? Would you say you just really don't give I was a fuck looking, I was what? looking at my team. My team was just in the box having fun. And this is semifinals of like a really prestigious event. <laughs> and um, I don't know. It's just... I just felt the like doing slow it. motion. Yeah. You gotta shake so it. So the, the, the face is the best. You gotta shake it. Look up. at the cop behind you, bro. What's the cop doing back there with the AV? Yeah, she's had enough. Dude. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> now you do whatever the fuck you want, bro. People respect that. The cool people respect that. The tennis snobs, bro. Like, I don't well, know. the the biggest one was I think was Wimbledon, right? And and Wimbledon, the most prestigious tennis yep. tournament in the world, one that Jadion also showed up oh, and yeah. caused a scene. Yeah. At. yeah. And you, and you, so what's the deal? You have to wear white. white. Have to. And you wanted to wear a red I wore hat. a red hat and red shoes for the um, presentation. I got fined, I think like almost 10 grand as well. And, and, it, and, what? It, and it's crazy because what you're doing for the sport is kind of what th this like coming of age that has to happen. You Definitely. You've seen it happen with golf. You've seen it happen with all these other sports where you say, okay, like, listen, we're being phased out by mm -hmm. sports that are continuing 100%. to evolve from a social media and from an entertainment standpoint. Yep. And I feel like your happy Gilmore nature <laughs> is necessary to the sport. Would you agree? I definitely agree. Cause pers like the personalities in tennis are a bit inside the box. And I just feel like I'm not doing anything crazy though. If you compare it to other sports, like some of the stuff you do, I love, you know what I mean? Just being yourself. But for tennis, I got, 
I can't walk the line too much though, because they'll just suspend me and I need to play. That's so which is wack. which is I, which is also interesting too, because yeah. like as a kid growing up and watching, <clears throat> you know, McEnroe and these guys that are yeah. quite eccentric and almost violent on the court, yeah. it always seemed like like you were singled out and do you think that there's other reasons why that that why that happens to you? yeah I, I, I probably wouldn't say them on this podcast <laughs> okay, but it. yeah i, I gotta ask the yeah, questions yeah right? for <laughs> sure but at the same time like there's not many people like me at the moment that are like that but then when they want to like you know post on social media about tennis it's always about me or you know some of the you know nadal or Djokovic or, or me it's no one else and then they're like oh you can't do this but then they'll use my name to like kind of mm. you know bring Tickets, fans, anything. Do you feel like they're not uh, crazy about even growing an audience? They just want their certain type of audience and they don't want yeah. to go outside of that box? Yeah, like I country think, club mentality. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. unfortunately, like you, as you said, you know, NFL, NBA, or like no one does sports like America. Like I'm just entertained from start to finish. But tennis is like, who wants to sit there for five hours and like watch a match for five so hours? Long. Jeff does. Jeff does, yeah. Oh, you love tennis? Oh, that's tough. That's my manager. <laughs> what, what what happened at the Open uh, recently for an Australian Open? Did you, were you? Well, I didn't play. Oh, you because you, yeah, you're injured, I pulled right? out the day beforehand. Yeah. What did you do to your knee, by the way? Uh, I had a torn meniscus. Uh, so they, yeah. sco they scoped sure. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. What, when you, will you be back? Um. Well, I literally start my rehab tomorrow, so this is perfect timing. Oh, good. Yeah, okay, I'm back. Okay, okay. I, like off crutches, off brace today, dude. I I I I'll watch you play tennis and, and any tennis player and like the stability and like the sliding of the legs <laughs> and ankle like i i start sweating when, when yeah, I, when yeah. I, like you got to be able to stretch out and be athletic and like surely you have some sort of routine that gets you ready for this type of activity um i'm really i would say i'm probably most probably the most unprofessional tennis player i don't warm up or anything <laughs> this before is a side I quest this is no i love this, this, this i love this, this is like a nice side quest he wants to be playing on. call of duty he's like he's like dude i got tennis <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> i love that <laughs> what so why do you do it though um i guess i mean it's all i've known since i was seven years old like my dad my parents were big reasons why i play tennis um and then i kind of went through a phase where i hated it and then i just realized how many people look up to me and just being who i was it was important like a lot of people wanted to see me do well and i think last year was awesome making the wimbledon final finally you know, achieving things that are going to last forever was pretty cool feeling, but I don't warm up before I play. I mean, like I'm top 20 in the world at the moment, but I would play one twelfth of the tennis that everyone else does. Does, does that, <laughs> that is, that is insane. No coach, no coach. You don't have a coach. No, I've seen him in, the, in yeah, your yeah, box. No, he's, he's like my manager, best friend, but no coach. <laughs> Haven't had a coach for like five, six years. What, what is your, what does your parents think when you do this all like red shoes jerking off? Like, like <laughs> what, 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 what are they, are they like, son, keep it going? Or are they like, dude, we didn't teach you this. Well, my mom, it's funny. If you guys came into my house, like my mom would just be like, he's just a, like a silly boy. Like he'll just do whatever they want. But <laughs> just her in the stand. That I like, condone dude, it. Silly boy. But like, you know, you got to take the good with the bad with me. That's just how it is. Like I'll play some great tennis and behave well, and then I'll just do things like that. But it's it's not just the the like audience and the officials that run the sport. Like even other players, you have to obviously deal with some of their their scrutiny. You have this infamous underhand serve yep. that gets scrutiny from everyone. Yeah. And so, like, what what is what is the relationship like with the rest of the the playing community? Um. I think my reputation tennis community with all my other mates, I have a lot of friends in the, in the locker room. Um, I don't take myself too seriously. Like it's tennis is a crazy sport. Like we shower next to each other. We eat next to each other. Like we literally prepare next to each other before we go out there, which is insane. And you got to be cool with each other. But we well, don't have to be, but like, for instance, if I play Nadal, we're on the same golf cart out to the same court. Like I could see him in the shower after we play. Yeah, that's gnarly. It's, that's gnarly. It's crazy. You know, I would just not, get in his I head. Would not like that. It's cold, huh, buddy? Yeah. Like <laughs> you ever talking shit behind the scenes? Mm, nah, tennis players, we don't do that. Like, I would be okay to it, but <laughs> do you know his uh, <clears throat> his brother Tommy Paul? No. Yeah, Tommy Paul, the tennis player. Oh, he was just in the Aussie Open. That's his brother. No, yeah. it's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I know. Oh, I know. Do Tommy you know Paul. Tommy? Yeah, yeah. He's awesome. <clears throat> he's he awesome. made it to what the he dates a, a friend of mine, Paige. Uh yeah, he he <clears throat> played really well, semifinals, the semifinals. Yeah. Right? No, I'm really close with Tommy. Yeah, yeah. He's he's, he's like, how old is he? He's a couple years younger than I am. 
He's holding it down for the U.S. right yeah, now. Yeah, he's good. You guys got a lot of good players at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Breaking news, Manscaped is now selling beard products. That's right. They've gone from waist to face to help you replace that bulky razor with their brand new Beard Hedger Pro Kit. Manscaped helped you get the golden rod of a Greek god, and now they've created the best tools for you to turn heads with a clean, perfectly groomed, and conditioned beard. Finally, tame your mane by going to manscaped.com and using the promo code LOGAN for 20% off plus free shipping. We have mighty beers on this show. Uh, George has a beard. I have a beard. Mike has a beard uh so you know what we're talking about it starts with a beard hedger this thing is a juggernaut of fixing faces this waterproof cordless trimmer has a rotary wheel that gives you 20 hair cutting lengths all with one guard so no more messy drawers full of extra add-ons plus the trimmer has a titanium coated t-blade that is tough on hair but smooth on your face when one stroke is a good thing but that's not all. You're also going to get the beard shampoo and conditioner, the Manscaped beard oil, and finally the beard balm. One-stop shop for your face. The Pro Beard Kit also comes with the three free gifts, a beard brush, comb, and scissors to ensure your beard is ready to impress. So get 20% off and free shipping with our code Logan at Manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at Manscaped.com. Use the code Logan. The Manscaped Beard Hedger Pro Kit, the premier solution to face grooming. Now back to the show. I have a question. Yep. That I'm going to ask because it's a podcast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It, if if tennis is sort of like a hobby, mm -hmm. like essentially a side quest for you. Yep. Why do you get so drawn into the games and sometimes have these, you know, big blow ups that everyone finds entertaining, but the tennis community, I'm sure, doesn't appreciate them all the time. Well, I think last year was the most serious I've been about tennis. Like I put in daily training, you know, got to sleep, didn't party as much. Just didn't. I just went about it more as like a professional, so I took it way more seriously. Mm. And I think, um, you know, I'm a competitor, just like, you know, we all would be here if we're playing computer games, mm -hmm. dominoes, anything, you know, we don't want to lose. So I feel like when I'm out there, I do want to win all the time. Like anyone who doesn't want to win is just lying. But I think last year, like, obviously I got a girlfriend now who I say long-term, like there's a lot more things that I'm trying to, you know, create. And I've had a lot more business opportunities as well from last year. So I think in the past there would be clips of me, you know, losing and not really caring so much. And, you know, that alludes to me not, training is hard but last year i don't think i had one match like that where you know i was getting i you know, didn't care as much can i ask did your effort to be a more professional tennis player yield greater results as a tennis player yeah i think last year was the best year of my career yeah big time and i always knew that if i really put my mind to it and made, i didn't i did everything last year without a coach as well like i still feel like i could take it to that next level of professionalism but i can't live like that why would you not want a coach i just i wouldn't want to put him through that like no just way. like some days i just don't feel like playing like I, i'm not gonna he's gonna be like right, we're gonna but go what train if, today. but what if you found that <clears throat> they uh provided the uh, the opposing viewpoint and and were, were actually able to like pull you out of that you know what no, i'm saying they, like they can't because I've, can. I've had coaches before and it's just it's been okay but i just so it's like counterproductive you need a coach yeah. who doesn't feel like coaching yeah <laughs> he's like yeah i don't feel like coaching today. you need a manager jeff but as a coach yeah. <laughs> but i just think like yeah. for me it's really hard to just bring someone on your team especially now like everything i've created has been with you know you know my best friend you know i've got a tight-knit group i just can't bring someone else into the team now i think it's just too far gone do you think your girlfriend helped you get your act together to be that professional tennis player i think she played definitely played a part in it yeah. my, my girlfriend seems yeah. to think that your girlfriend <laughs> yeah definitely like, like shaped you in a really positive way yeah i mean my girlfriend was probably <laughs> <laughs> both of you guys what the hey, fuck? come on you for sure you smiled because you in your mind you're like no way but you were like you're like yeah no. <laughs> next time he goes to wimbledon he's in all white bro he doesn't have a coach dog he's not gonna listen to anybody no i don't think i listened to her but i feel like she she gave me confidence like she was like you know you could really do just things like that just being present at times and saying like you know, you've got the talent here. You can actually go this far. When I lost a bit of belief in myself. How, how though, dude? Like, the things you were achieving at 19 years old, like, you are and were, like, one of the tennis prodigies. Like, everyone was pointing at you saying, that's the kid. He's up next. And then I kind of, I guess, didn't reach the heights that people thought I was going to do quickly. And then it was just like, oh, Kyrgios is a waste of talent. You know, he's never going to fulfill mm -hmm. it. And that kind of... And then it just spiraled out of control with like the media in Australia was like always negative and subconsciously I was, it was going inside and it was just hard to deal with, man. And then I just kind of was, cr I just went crazy. Like I just went really, just did whatever. I right. wanted to ask, I want to ask you about that too, because, you know, I, I know you've had some pretty, you know, you, you've talked about these struggles with mental illness yep. and with your own mental health. <clears throat> How much of your game 
is determined by your mental health at the, at the time and or vice versa, how much your mental health is determined by how you're playing on the court? Well, at the time, I think I just let it get into my feelings a bit too much. Like it would affect the way I played. But now, like, I feel like I'm more mature to say, all right, I'm having bad days or good days, whatever, but I got to just put that aside and I got to get on court and do my stuff do my stuff well because it's a <clears throat> kind of an ongoing conversation in the sport obviously we've seen it extremely publicized with naomi osaka yeah, yeah, yeah. and is it something that you dealt with prior to you know being on the on the main stage was did you have struggles with anxiety depression any of that kind of stuff or was that all brought on by being in the spotlight yeah it all it all got brought on because i was like the most normal kid like i would just game all day i would eat like healthy unhealthy like i didn't think at all i was going to be a good like one of the biggest tennis players. Like I was just going about my stuff like, and then it just all happened overnight when I beat Nadal and there were people camping outside my house. Cause tennis is probably one of the biggest sports in Australia. Like it's big in the States, but not as big. Like it's massive here. And it just, I don't know. I just didn't know how to deal with it. Just a lot. Yeah, it was a lot, especially for my personality. Cause I, I don't know. I don't really like the attention as much. Like I think it's stupid when people want photos and stuff. I just don't get it. Do you do you always take them or? I, I try to. Like sometimes at dinner, <laughs> dinner and stuff, like I'm like not right. Oh, now. that's his yeah. one. That's his one rule. Yeah, too. the dinners are so. Di so. Uh, what do you say? Do you have a line? Hey, <laughs> hey, Nick. Hey, Nick. I noticed you're eating dinner. Can I have a picture? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I say uh, not right now. It's not the best time Wait, unless it's like a kid yeah. or someone really old. I try to explain it to him. Like, yeah, I have, I have one rule in my life. I I don't take pictures at dinner. Now, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Yeah. Nah, but, nah, but Australian fans are crazy, dude. They are crazy. I'm, I'm, and they don't, they're pretty disrespectful at times. I was grabbed. You were grabbed? I was grabbed. Yeah. Yeah, but that happens. I was, I was, worried, I was worried that they were going to jump in our car window and tear me limb from limb last yeah. night when we well, got here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that also happens whether or not they're like fans too. Like, I feel like the culture over here is like semi-aggressive in, in, in nature because- yeah. Uh, I was at the club the other night and the girls would just like grab your cock, dude. Like they're very like forward, bro. Yeah, they're, they're and forward. it's fine, but like- It's fine they're if you're like, single. Like, yeah, yeah. It's they're fine if you're single. You, you, you were there, bro. You saw it. It was fucking crazy, bro. Like yeah, they, got no, they got no shame here. It was kind of cool. It's interesting. They kept calling <laughs> <they kept laughs> it. It's pretty on brand with Mike. Yeah, yeah. yeah, for me, it makes sense. I want to ask too, like with these struggles um, that were brought on by, by being on that stage, you also have- dealt with those in in uh interesting ways uh you've been pretty open about you know struggles with substance and, yep. and drinking have you where, where are you at right now with that yeah i mean i'm it was pretty much every day when i was about three four years ago i reckon i was drinking five six times a week and still competing at the highest level which was <laughs> really unhealthy it was like i would wake up and i would just be like I got to play Nadal in like a couple hours or like City Pass or these top guys and it's just not sustainable. Like, How can you even get that done though? I, I don't know. I won a tournament doing it. And then it's funny because then the media was like, oh, has Kyrgios turned a corner? Like, and then it was like, <laughs> it was like the worst I'd ever been. Oh yeah, he, he, turned, up a a bar, he turned a corner, right? Into Go to the, the bar, bar down yeah. the street, dude. Yeah. But now it's just, you know, I just obviously, you know, I have drinks if it's a, my, my brother got uh, married two days ago. So oh, obviously nice. I had some drinks there and, but yeah, now I'm more under control. Do you feel like the girlfriend helps you control it a little bit? Yeah, I mean, I feel like I was just ready to move into the next phase of my life. Like I'm turning 28, so. I was gonna say, I think I think uh, besides Mike, your desire to uh, drink and go out and party and um, have sex with hookers, it's slowly, you know, <laughs> decreases. It, it's hey, mine's decreased, just not at the same percentages. That's all right. <laughs> Any improvements, good improvement. Mike, Mike had a, a decade of his life um, stifled by uh, narcotics. Yeah, facts. How old are you now? Uh, 20, 28, same as you. Oh, oh wait, so, sorry, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. <laughs> The decade of my life that was stifled is still missing. You <laughs> had quite the glow up as well. I was watching Breakpoint and, uh, man, you were, you were, you had some, some poundage on you. As, yeah, as I, was a a big, I, I was a big did boy. Did you just call our guest ugly? I did no, not fat, say that. Fat, fat. No, I, I said I was he fat. had poundage on him. Poundage. I apologize. He, he was, he no, was what fine. we would call, he's what, a uh Coles, the retailer in America, would call Husky. Like he goes to the he I, went to I the Husky. Big. I, I just say this because I didn't see his future. I could I couldn't have <laughs> predicted that. I couldn't have extrapolated. This photo that. is insane. Oh wow. <laughs> With the Wu Tang on and everything, bro. Yeah. He's no, I was a gangster. He's a gangster. But you should if you came to my house and tried my mom's mom and dad's food, you'd understand. That's why. They're some good cooks. Greek, was, Greek and Malaysian. Like it's uh, the best yeah, type of food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you was your highest tell him weight? Yorgo's on his way. What's that? Tell him Yorgo's on his way. <laughs> Yorgo. <laughs> what was your highest weight? Um, I mean, I wasn't 
like oof, I was pretty heavy for for a 15, 16 year old. I was probably like nearly. You're gonna say weight in kilos right now. Yeah, no one's gonna know. I mean, I was I was pretty heavy, and it was hard because all my coaches and like. Some teachers from school said I was like not going to make it because of my weight. But being in the academies in Australia, like they all said you need to lose weight. And I was just, I was winning on court. So I was like, my, my. What does it matter? I was like, it doesn't really matter. It's yeah. not translating. Yeah. But I said, I did need to lose some weight, but it was hard dealing with that. Like you deal with those insecurities. You still deal with it now a little bit. So did you, how, how do you deal with it now? Cause I'm, I would have assumed that, you know, after you, know, you had your growth spur and mm. you became this massive tennis star. I think, I think everyone likes a person who is, you know, that good looking, uh, confident person, but has that, <laughs> has that inner fat kid in them where they, they're not a dickhead. <laughs> You're just like a, a relatable, a relatable guy who came from humble beginnings. Yeah. I mean, look, that, that, the best is when I see like, say some overweight, overweight kids now, or kids that are a bit afraid to, you know, be active just because of, you know, the, the way they look or something. Mm -hmm. Like now I love that. When I see that, I love going up to them and say like, look, like here's a photo of For me. Sure. And that's like, that's powerful. And I think that's so like one of the coolest things that comes from my career is that like, cause look, look, look at me, dude. like that person was not supposed to beat like Djokovic and Nadal and stuff. <laughs> insane. Those back, those backstories are insane. I mean, you know, all jokes aside that that's a massive impact for me in my life to be able to go up to people that are, are really struggling and yeah. be like, yo, like you can get out of this. Yeah, you know, you so the fact that you, the fact that you actually proactively approach those people and, 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 and honestly, man, like, the weight thing is really tough. Yeah, I, I was I was almost three hundred pounds at one point when I when I first got clean in two thousand ten, and it's it's really hard to take those first few steps mm. into a more healthy and active lifestyle. Very, and and I, I I think seeing someone who has done it and and you know can offer any kind of feedback as to what to do. I mean, what was what were your I guess I guess playing the sport was probably a big one for you. But was there any other feedback you can give to the audience for for how to turn that corner well i guess just i mean when i was really dealing i mean look but i there's a couple of pictures on my instagram like i didn't really know that i was like that like i didn't think i was like fat at that time like i was so young you know i was just going about it playing sport and then i was still a bit chubby at like 17 and then when it was like the coaches and stuff that were telling me like you're out of shape or you're eating too much and i was like bro, i was just like i wasn't trying to be a professional i was just playing and i was just good at it mm. so i was like I don't know. I guess there was some people that just kept believing in me. So like family and friends, I, I know it's cliche to say, but you got to keep those people around for sure. Cause I pushed those people away when I was really struggling with the drugs and alcohol and stuff. Like I didn't stay in contact with them, but even then they were trying to reach out and then I got back in touch with them and that really helped me. Because, oh, so the isolations, I mean, isolation's yeah, terrible. That's the worst thing. And it's, it sucks. Cause <clears throat> I talk about this a lot. There's a lot of people out there who don't have the option to, to, you know, hit up a friend or a family member because they just don't have them. Yep. And so, you know, I think a lot of the people like, you know, myself or you that have made it out of those type of places, we owe it all back to our support network. Definitely. I'd, I'd agree with that. How do you handle the media scrutiny now? I'm sure you've developed somewhat of a thick shell. Yeah, big, big time. Um, I, I kind of just don't care anymore. Like I know that the bigger the story they make, the more clicks they're going to get. And it's cool now because I go into a press conference and I know that like at any moment I can say something controversial and it's going to blow up any like you, moment at any moment like you could probably have the same like we could go on twitter right now and just cause a massive scene. thanos snap I'll say and that, shit. That's like, like, should we do it right now no, as an exercise i, I, I should it <laughs> exercise i feel like you guys just get away with you can get away with anything let me tell you something no we don't <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. eventually yeah but in real time yeah. i'm fun to hate man do do booze affect you at all Ooh. Nah, booze don't affect me. When people say something inappropriate, like or racist, oh like I've dealt God, with that, yeah. that grinds my gears a bit. That was a big part of Breakpoint, the Netflix yeah. doc, or not a big part, but it's a part you mentioned for sure. Like people uh, just shouting out anything, it, it, and while you're playing, yeah. Well, well, I got at Wimbledon. Um, there was a lady who was like screaming out to me, like in the middle of the points. Like this is a Wimbledon final. Yeah, how is she, how and, does she not get kicked out? And, and tennis is like, not like any other sport, like especially Wimbledon, you gotta be quiet. Like that's just what it is. Mm -hmm. And she's, you know, screaming out to me, screaming out to me. And then I said something to the umpire. I was like, how is she not, you know, whatever. And then I ended up getting a court case about it. Oh yeah, that's right. You had a, a big, so they yeah. let her stay. Wait, yeah, they you let her can't stay. fake no, they, jerk off. That's <laughs> no, for real. Like I'm being, they, they find you for every little thing, like wearing red shoes or like yeah. playing with your water bottle, but yeah. a girl yelling at you in a yeah. really important match. Yeah. That's what's yeah. the, what was the premise of the case? 
I just said she had like 700 drinks or something. And then she, she sued me for defamation. Yo, get the fuck out of here. She took oh unicorn? God. Suck my yeah. dick. Get out of here, dude. What happened with the case? That's whack. Um, I think it's it's all done now. But, that's yeah. whack, dude. Yeah. Man, that's... I yeah. I can relate because I'm, I'm on the same uh, end of the stick, but man, people will just come after you for anything, especially if you are and have painted yourself as the bad boy. And by the way, does that bother you? Do you, are, do you feel like the bad boy of I'm definitely not. Like... <laughs> Anyone that knows me, I'm actually just like, I'm just, I don't know. They just branded me this ever since I came on tour. Honestly, like I don't do anything crazy at all. It's because it's because you're not doing anything that anyone else is doing. It's very different. Yeah, that's you know? it. Like, and you're, you're, you're playing with a lot of emotion. How many rackets have you broken? Oh, that, that's, that's different. I have a couple grand, a couple thousand rackets, I think. That's so many rackets. It is. It is. And it's, I don't want to condone it. Like it, it's not good, but I put it this way. If I was watching a young guy play, like say my son, for instance, in one day and he's losing, I would rather see him be frustrated and break a racket than just like take it and cop it on the chin. Yeah. Like I want to see that he doesn't like losing. I just don't like double standards. Like you're not the first person to break. Like, dude, people have been smashing rackets since the beginning of time. Yeah. Skateboarders have been smashing their skateboards since the beginning of time. Like, it, like sports are extremely competitive and extremely frustrating at times. Yeah. And, and if that's how you choose to take it out, like you could have ran up and smashed that lady in the face with a racket. Like that wouldn't have been okay. But right. like, yeah, like smashing, <laughs> smashing a racket in general. I don't think it's that bad. Right. To be honest. Right. Didn't you talk shit to Ben Stiller? No, 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 <laughs> no. St ben Stiller was in the crowd. He was talking shit. No, no, no. And then there was someone next to him, like trying to tell me how to play. Like he was like, <laughs> serve here, do this a certain moment. I was playing Nadal, And then I said, dude, just shut up. Like, <laughs> and then I said, ben, I said, do I tell Ben Stiller how to act? Like, he's like, do I tell him how to act? Why are you telling me how to play? That was it. But it's like, what, what but do it, you know? But it wasn't Ben. It was his boy. No, it was just another person sitting next to Ben. You just use this as an example. But by the way, yeah. Ben's watching you. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I love Ben Stiller. He's Dude, happy Gilmore. He's, imagine, he's, imagine Ben. <laughs> imagine, <laughs> imagine Ben. Oh, was it? Adam Sandler or Ben no, Stiller? No, no, but Ben Stiller in Happy Gilmore oh, oh, yeah, is so oh, funny. Yeah. Imagine, it was, uh, imagine Ben Stiller in that moment just being like, what did I do, dude? Like, yeah, how, yeah. Why am I being dragged yeah. into this? He's a massive tennis fan. Last week, uh, massive moment in United States sports. LeBron James becomes insane the, the highest uh, NBA scorer of all time. I know you're a huge basketball and, yep. and NBA culture fan. Got asked the question. He's in your eyes, guy. Jordan versus LeBron, who's the GOAT? I think LeBron's a goat. Let's go! Like I've got, I got, I got Kobe here tattooed, and yep. I got LeBron on my arm. Sick. Like I love, like I live basketball, like love it. Yeah. So you could have been a basketball player too. I play a little bit. I don't know if I could have played in the league, but I could have played somewhere. Right. Like, I don't care if it's like Chechnya or like, something. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. I don't care. Like Div Three somewhere. <laughs> I don't care. European <laughs> basketball. Team. Yeah, but yeah, LeBron's a goat. Yeah. You're that good though. You could, you could just. I'm, I'm okay. Like I got a couple clips on my Instagram. Like I'm, I'm okay. I play a lot. I play a lot. Do you think there's like a, like an age cutoff for people who think it's LeBron versus Jordan? Like, do you feel like people under thirty, like percentage wise, answering because because as someone who's you know thirty eight years old, not yeah. twenty eight, like having watched Jordan my whole life, it, it has like a part of my soul. You know what I'm saying? Like those those Bulls years with Scotty and. And and watching how electrifying he was on the court and yep. hitting those game winners and running off like the three P era, yep. it like sticks with you. You know what I'm saying? I wonder. I I sometimes wonder like if there's a part of it that's just not statistical, not able to be measured. I, I agree with that a little bit because without Jordan, obviously there's no LeBron, there's no Kevin Durant, like Kobe. They they were trying to chase something, but I don't like comparing it all the time too. Yeah, because when these guys retire, it's like. I feel like we just took them for granted, like always trying to compare and not really appreciate like how good they are. No, it's a good point. Yeah, you know? the comparisons are- Like cool. it's always a comparison. Like one of them wins another tour. Like Djokovic wins Australian Open again. It's like compared straight to Nadal. It's just like, why Why do we always do that? But LeBron is insane. Like he doesn't look like slowing down either. No, but you're 100% you're, you're, you're right. The comparisons are out of control. We don't have to do the comparisons, but uh, Messi or Ronaldo. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I don't really follow soccer that much. That's what I like to hear. Soccer, um, nice. Sorry. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do soccer. Um, I don't. I don't know. I'll, I'll just say. I'll just say Ronaldo. A Messi. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, who, who, who? Who do you think? I, I think Messi just because he won a World Cup. But uh, I was, I, oh yeah, I, 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 I forgot about that. Yeah. Who, David Beckham's good. Who's the greatest? Who's the greatest tennis player of all time in your eyes? 
it's the same thing. I think Federer and Jordan are very similar. Okay. But I think Novak statistically and all that type of stuff is better. So no Sampras, no McEnroe, Hell, no Agassi, way. none of those no guys. Way. Really? No, nah, because like I think Jordan could play in Numbers? this. Numbers? Oh man, I'm just it, it, Yeah, but Jordan could play in this era, I think. Like Jordan could still play in this era right. where like those guys would get absolutely snipped in this era. I met, I met uh, Mac at MSG one time. Johnny Mac is a good guy. He, he is. He's I, crazy I, though. He didn't. I did. He he didn't look very approachable. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. Like, have you ever met or been approached by someone you watched uh, and loved? But in basketball? Yeah. Or or no no no. Like um, uh, someone you looked up to. Like uh, uh, Will Smith was a big one for me. He came up. To like you he and- watched me courtside at the Australian Open one year, and I was like, he was my favorite actor at the yeah, time. Yeah, for sure. And I was real nervous. And then I won, and then he, I met him straight after. That was that was a cool moment. Um, yeah, it's pretty nuts. Like sometimes. I kind of have to wake up because I got like, you know, I'm talking to some NBA guys that I just thought I'd never be in this position, for to be sure, honest. Like, sure. Drake messaged me after Wimbledon. That's good. Yeah, like, Jack Harlow, like, I now talk yeah. to him all, like, from time to time. It's just crazy. Like, I just, I'm not supposed to be here. Like, you know, even here, like, it's, I can't believe I'm doing this right now, to be honest. Like, I watch you guys on TikTok in my bed, like, half naked. <laughs> fucking weird, bro. And fucking then now I'm just fucking sitting No, that's here. funny, because we watch you playing tennis <laughs> half that's naked, so bro. Yeah, yeah. I swear to God, in the morning, watching these th- tennis games, like, nah, it's it's crazy, bro, but it's cool, that reciprocation of energy. Like, What's, like, that Drake you, lyric? What does he say? The rappers want to be, uh, like, the at, we want to be athletes, and the yeah. athletes want to be us, yeah. But, like, it's crazy. Like, you guys just do your thing, and I, I'll always support, like, every time I see you guys do the thing, and everyone's just hating, I'm just like... Thank idiots. you, bro. Thank you, bro. Yeah, it's, it's, you, you're having, you have what uh, I think is called imposter syndrome. It, it's like a, it's a feeling of like, wow, who, who, am I supposed to be in yeah. this position? I'm not really sure like how I got here. Yeah. But it's good, bro. Because you, you are, this is interesting. I bet that this will level out if you continue in the tennis world. You're a great guy. You're just like a humble, down to earth, nice human. But, but I've just been like this the whole time. Like but when you but changed. when you play, you get fired up. Yeah, I'm two different people. That's for sure. For sure. For but sure. But I think athletes are like that. The most successful ones are like that. Tennis is scary to me. Even just listening to you talk about these people that are watching you at these games, and it's so silent. Yeah. It's so silent. Well, Wimbledon like, is New York's crazy. It's all eyes on you, <laughs> dude. Like that yeah. silence is. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Does that? And then you play for five hours. I'm still having a hard time wrapping my head around how, just how that doesn't. Okay, okay. Comparatively, the mental toll of playing a five-hour tennis game mm-hmm. with ups and downs and having to come back and when uh, uh, maintaining the lead yep. and you know that that deafening silence versus like a mental health f- fumble, if you will, or like or like when things happen off the court, like. You would think that you've been hardened on the court so much so mentally that you would be able to deal with the demons off the court as well. Yeah, mentally, I'm probably more fatigued than I am physically. When I come off a five, like a five hour like battle or something on the tennis court, I can't like, I just want to collapse as soon as I get off the court. Like I've got no energy left. Like, and then I have to just get up and do it again. I can like, It's it's not even close, I'm sure. But like, we've had days where we've done like, three shows no, like would, an, hour, be close. an hour and a half because you guys like do everything like really if it's elite. guests that we really have to prep for we're Bro, you know like go the fuck i was about to here. say that's dude, fine I mean, you're not not no 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 but to, but to your Tennis point at the we're highest level. it's fine but to your point but to your i know it's funny you're right it is funny but to your point of imposter syndrome i think you sometimes will underestimate the the mental yeah i do underestimate what, what no I not, do not, not no not you oh. him just have us having done 400 shows sitting here for six hours and constantly thinking, 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 what's next? Where are we going next? What's the next direction? What's the next question? Of course, there's no physical comp whatsoever, especially him mentally. He doesn't even say anything half the time. He just sits there like a turd. So he doesn't get it. I don't but agree But as someone that has to fucking <laughs> steer the like, fun Like shit. none of it. Like absolutely. All right, whatever. Fuck you is a bad comparison. Eat shit, all right? <laughs> but have you played much tennis? Because you got like a good physique for Yo, it. Yo, my mom is good at yeah. tennis. And, Same with and mine. She, she groomed really? us a little bit to, to, to play tennis. Um, should play. I was, I was okay. I don't. I never. I never found like a rhythm. That's why I don't understand. Like at, at what age seven you were? Yeah. You were just a little better I, than the rest of yeah, the kids. Yeah. How did you like know? Like I never found that. I think the coach approached my parents that he's picking it up pretty quickly. Uh, see, it's like I'm. I'm a believer that tennis. Like you get any athlete and put a tennis racket in their hand, they become uncoordinated. Really yeah. Quickly. Oh, for sure. <laughs> for sure. You you yeah. watch watching athletes try to hop sports is is hilarious. Yeah. And tennis is definitely one. It's yeah. like a it's like a sword, dude. It's, yeah. like, a, it's like it's like a weapon. I I I I don't even know how 
your reaction time it can be that quick. Some of these serves come in at like a thousand miles an hour. It feels yeah. like even yeah. your your serves incredible. Yeah. When when you get on a a rhythm, do you know like oh shit I'm hot right now like like yeah my serve is my serve's always been like like I could play terribly everything else but my serve always keeps me in the match mm. which is a good feeling. You train like besides tennis? Yeah, I play basketball. That's my. I go to the gym every now and then. You make no sense, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you, make, you make no sense. How do, you, how do you feel about pickleball? Oh, awesome. He owns a pickleball yeah. team. Oh, yeah, that's I right. I like pickleball. It's because yeah. you don't have to be too athletic. You know what I mean? You can just run in a little spot. Yeah, but Nick, do you think it's good? I'm pretty good, but good for like LA Fitness or like your outdoor <laughs> park. I'm not good. We, like we said this about the non-athletic side of pickleball and there was a little bit of feedback on it that wasn't actually the case. Do you, do you have to have some athletic? No, you do, but yeah, it's not you, like tennis. I think you definitely need a bit of athleticism for sure. Right, right. Is it a fad? What it better it? not be. What He's fucking invested. No, oh, like, I, oh, you mean like just a, like like a, a trend? I don't know. I don't I know. Don't like you, so. you own a pickleball team. The opportunity was presented, right? Like it's it's a hot sport; it's on the mm. come up. But I just you don't think it's know. like won't have the su like the substance to Th continue does it, to be. Does it have staying ages? power? Will people watch it? Does it generate money? Like I don't well, know. Well, I think it will be good because w people just follow what the states do all the time. Mm. Like, and it's huge there at the moment. Mm. Yeah, huge. And if you got people is. like LeBron and Kevin Durant and all these guys investing in it, see, that's what scares me as well. If if all the celebrities flock to it, like, is it like? Does it feel like a some like a list weird club sport that everyone thinks is cool now, but actually isn't. Well, you can answer that question more than I can. I'm not an a list celebrity, bro. <laughs> I don't fucking, yeah, yeah, I don't know, bro. <laughs> bro, you're fucking huge, Uno, bro. bro. It's easier to play. Like, it is, and more people can play it. Is what I'm saying. Like, right. you just need like a little. And also, tennis is an expensive sport too. Like, you can is just get really? a little paddle, like a little paddle, a little ball, and you can go to the court. There's heaps of courts everywhere as well, and it's easier on the body. Why is it why is it so expensive if you don't mind me asking? Well, a tennis racket, for instance, costs like a couple hundred dollars. But pickle pickleball rackets are pretty expensive too, no? Or? I don't think anywhere near as tennis though. Oh, okay, okay. And then like you break strings in tennis, you have to pay oh, for it, strings. It, like it. it's like tennis adds up. It it uh, I guess it's like not quite as bad as like a <clears throat> golf or like skiing or something like that. Because yeah. you have to pay every time you, you go. But well that's the same with tennis. You gotta pay for the court. Yeah, that's like, true. It, it does add up. Time. People who don't have yeah. money, it's it's hard. It, it, if yeah, tennis is just a hobby for you, do you have any sort of long term vision for what you want to do in this sport? I think I can win a Grand Slam. Like now, the Wimbledon final, I was right there. I was two sets away. Yeah. I won the first set and I thought, this is it. I didn't stay in the moment. And then he's just super composed. But <clears> I feel like I could do that. But I feel like it's it's weird. It's not even for me, though. I feel like it's just for everyone else. Mm. Like for all the haters as well, that just like, it would just, I could finally just rest. Like I could just go home and actually sleep in my bed and not deal with shit. Mm. Dude, if you win a Grand Slam and retire, that is going to be the most ridiculous. Like, <laughs> bro, he just wins one championship. He's like, yeah, fuck it. I'm out. Like and just I, I, I also, I, I, also yeah. I think that's why maybe you didn't win because maybe you had a journey that you need to maybe, accomplish. Yeah. You're right. You know what I mean? Uh, George is really religious, dude. Very religious. So maybe yeah. So I, he'll just say things like that. Yeah, you may, maybe oh, you're right. Dude. Here we go. No, no. Come it's on, bro. You're affecting our show, hey, dude. Hey, We're hey, on the show hey. too. Listen, yeah, you've had a rough you, day. You just <laughs> <laughs> guys. I will fucking walk. <laughs> I've done it before. Where are you gonna go? We're in a fucking island in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> we're in Australia. Where are you gonna go? We'll give you Uber home. You can't. You well, know? well, you were agreeing with me until they fucking butted in. And yeah. by the way, guests turn on me all the time. Do not. It's because you're sitting all the way over Always, there. bro. I actually forgot you. Think we were having such a good conversation. No, no, no. Everyone, take a breath. No, no, no. Don't take a breath. It's okay. I got a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I want to ask you a question. One of the biggest things about this trip that's been crazy to us and doesn't happen in every country. Mm -hmm. it, they're just going to keep scoring. That, huh? that, was a, that, that was a replay. Yeah, that was but that's your team, right? Yeah, Birds, yeah. Um, it doesn't happen in every country we go to. The idea of American mm -hmm. celebrities coming here, it, I, this has been insane. Like yep. the reception has been absolutely insane. And I've really looked at this entire experience as like an interesting experiment. I've, I've We did Perth. Yep. We went to the island. We saw the Quakas. Yep. I tried Tim Tams. Tim I got to still do a Tim Tam slam where I'm going to bite the opposing corners off and drink through it. Uh, Vegemite. That, no, it's not It's not good. Oh. I don't like it. Respect. I don't like it. It sucks. Thank you. Um, 
I it's, wanted I wanted to ask you. So so we we came here. We've seen everything or a lot of stuff, and it's awesome. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna continue on and do Gold Coast and Melbourne and all yeah. that stuff. Melbourne's amazing. I'm excited for it. What uh, what are your thoughts about America? I love it. Like I love it. Obviously, Beyond the culture and the basketball and all that stuff. Um, I love it. Yeah. Um, obviously, it's it's a little bit more dangerous compared to here in Australia. Obviously, with a lot more <laughs> lot of things over there. But I love it. I could easily live there. Like I love well, Winwood in Miami is the best. Here? Well, I just, I feel like it's just the best of everything. Like good food, good. I love coffee. Like I'm addicted to coffee and we have the best coffee in Australia. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. Do you like coffee? Yeah. Yeah. There's heaps of good cafes. What's what's a good one? I was going to say. Like Pina, help, help Pina, P-I-N-A you should okay. go there. Tomorrow if you want for breakfast, yeah, it's insane. Your okay. guys' fast food is like a hundred times better than ours. I don't eat fast food. Uh, oh, that's one thing. My diet's pretty sorry. good. My diet's, sorry. Yeah, this is turning into some Bobby Lee energy. <laughs> you know what? The kid version of you probably ate fast food. <laughs> <laughs> so don't pretend like you don't remember what it tastes that's, like. That's actually hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jordy. Um, what, what city? Um, if you could go to anyone in America. I love, I love it. I love it all, man. I love Miami's so fun. Like yeah. LA's awesome. I, be, I love Houston, Atlanta. What, I love it all, honestly. Yeah, I love. Hey, it. I, I, I just feel like I feel like Australia is so isolated, man. It is. Even, That's even, the only thing. Even the time, the time difference is yeah. insane. <sighs> yeah. Well, for him, it's just regular yeah. time. You, you, <laughs> it's so far to get anywhere else. It's but like, well, Thailand's <laughs> only eight hours away. Yeah, you, you have what? a couple spots. I mean, you're closer to Japan. Right? Yeah, you Japan's can go amazing. To, <laughs> <laughs> what? What is it? It's just Logan. A, Logan can't travel a lot of places. Uh, oh, okay. you're clo- and by the way, you're closer to Japan. You're closer to uh, okay, Bali. Yeah. You can go to Bali. Uh, yeah, which is cool. Um, but yeah, yeah. No, nah, Australia sure, is good. Australia is good. But I, I, I love the states. States is the best. You guys are fucking. Dickheads. I didn't even do it on purpose. I just really want to go there. Nah, That's kind of my next. That, my next. Well, what, but if you said you live. You move here for your girlfriend. Yeah, into Sydney. Yeah, I lived in, only two and a half hours away. I drive. I live. Is she? She's not Australian. Yeah, she's Australian. She can't, she's Sydney. She's born in Sydney. What? Yep. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of hot girls in Sydney. If can you I like. ask you where, where where did you think she was? Oh, you can't even comment. I thought, I thought, I thought she was American. <laughs> no, no, no. Silly, silly me. But yeah, I mean, look, you guys, you, you, are you going to Melbourne too? I will not be going. Oh, okay. I was about to say you're gonna get swarmed there. Melbourne's yeah, crazy. Yeah, what's the man. deal there? It's, it, that's nightlife's spot. probably a bit better in Melbourne than it is in Sydney. Oh, oh, like yeah. if you think it's good here, I'm doing an appearance, a night up here. Yeah, yeah, good, there. good, good for you. Yeah, you're gonna have a, you're gonna have a good time. Well, I'm doing. I did a, a collaboration. You know, Culture Kings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I'm yeah. doing. I did a collab with them. So, yeah, mad. That's yeah, yeah, oh, so, nice. Yeah. They're cool. Barbershop in there and stuff. Yeah, it's, it's cool. a cool spot. Yeah, I'm excited. What are you gonna do next? Man, my rehab starts tomorrow. I'm flying back tonight, and then I'm just gonna. I'm just in the gym. Just you doing my stem cells. I, I don't think that's legal in Australia. It's, it is not legal. <laughs> it's not legal to get them in Australia, but you can travel somewhere to get them. Um, I won't do that yet. No. I'll probably just. Um, and I don't think I'm allowed to do that for tennis. Like we get. Come on. I could get drugged. To, I have to put yeah, my yeah, whereabouts. Yeah, but stem cells. Stem cells. Yeah. You're not gonna. You're not I don't gonna think. Pass. No, I don't. No. no. Dog, yeah. come on. Yeah. What do you mean? It's not could, steroids. I, it's just. No. no. I, I could get tested. Every no, no, the, the, the well, they tennis is te- so well, they can't even test for stem I mean, in his defense, they don't even let him wear colored shoes. Yeah. That is a good like point. it's insane. I could get tested any day. At, at, How were like, you in school? I, you, I was good. Yeah, you were good. My my, my um my mom's Asian man, so she was pretty strict. Yeah, uh, yeah, she was really serious in my studies. So Wait, you had to you had to yep. be a good kid. Yeah, straight shooter. Ever yep. get in trouble with the? I'm getting a thumbs down from your team, bro. What are we talking about? Yeah, you're fucking up. You've been time. a bad. You're a bad no, kid. Out of control. I wasn't a bad, t- no, I wasn't a bad kid. No, I was, that's my sister, bro. I wasn't a bad kid. Did you I ever was, get in trouble with the authorities or no, anything? I mean, like I always pushed the boundaries a little bit, but like no more than, there's no chance I was worse than you. Jake's Jake's, Jake's the issue, not yeah, me. Yeah, hundred percent. There's no way I was like Jake. No, no, I was, I was a good kid. Yeah, I know, I that's what I'm saying. I, I feel like Jake would have been pushed the boundaries a lot more than okay, I Okay, then that. explain one situation. Oh, wait, are you not allowed to? I'm yeah. talking about, Hoodlum stuff. Like, what's the worst? I thing? feel like we probably did oh, enough no. with the. No, no, nothing, nothing crazy, man. I just, I had fun, but I, I like, I, I didn't go out or anything till I was eighteen. My parents wouldn't let me because of my tennis career. Uh, like, I wasn't like going into clubs with a fake ID. Has yeah. there been any other thing that you that you picked up faster than average? Like, I, I still find it's like crazy. Like, tennis seems to be the god given gift that you have that you found really early. Like, it's, it's life and especially success is often about timing yep. and you happen to pick up 
a, a racket at seven years old and, and things kind of really fucking worked out. Yeah. But has there been anything else where you picked up where you were ab above average right off the rip? I feel like I'm, I don't want to sound arrogant or anything, but I feel like I pick up sports pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. Like I'm game, like I do, I don't know. I just game pretty well. Like I, I game pretty well. I, I play sports really well. I'm just chilled, man. We got to get you in the boxing ring, bro. No, 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 no. I'll be, I'll be, <laughs> Sister no, shaking her head. no way, dude. His face, she says. Like, now, like, if you ever box again, like, I'm not going to be able to watch because, like, I like you. Thanks, and now bro. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to watch it. Would you so, be able to watch George box? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was liking you in the beginning. <laughs> Nah, bro. Imagine being my girlfriend. She, she's, she's, yeah, that's she's never had a, a combat boyfriend. Oh, so, that must be so tough boyfriend. for her to see. No, she still thing. doesn't, buddy. No, but when does when does when does Jake fight now? Two weeks. I'm excited. That's gonna two be weeks? awesome. I'm excited. Uh, maybe when the time this comes out, it could be two days. Who knows? Oh yeah. You get nervous still for that or not? Um, you know, I had a period where I stopped getting nervous mm -hmm. watching Jake fight. And then with Anderson Silva, I got oh. nervous again because it's Anderson oh. Silva. It's pretty uh, nuts, dude. It, it, dude, that's one of the greatest Combat strikers of all time. Like, yeah, I was nervous. But like for Tommy Fury, I am not nervous at all. Yeah. What you have to do is, uh, and I figured this out with Floyd, well, my mom did. You have to wholeheartedly believe in your guy. Or, or girl. Yeah, like, just like, trust that he's just doing trust, everything trust. right. I, I, said, I said before Floyd, I was like, mom, she's freaking out. I was like, mom, do you trust me? Yeah. Like, I got this. You got. You have to just believe me. Believe me when I when I tell you this right now, I got this. So cool, dude. And, and, and she calmed down, but that's with fighting, that's the that's the thing. I mean, I'm sure it's nerve wracking for your family as well, bro. It's a one-on-one -on -one sports are intense. And yep. like you, you see your person out there like, blood sweat tears their soul putting it all on the line and then the up and down of the sports is like that's why i have so much respect for tennis dude like dude it, you fought floyd mayweather that was weird that's that's nuts that's actually fucking bro, crazy you're you being the dog no 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 i don't even dog, care bro. i don't care like, that's, that's <laughs> get out crazy. of here man no he, he just did it to make some money that's nothing nuts, bro. No, the and, and, I, the and I keep the money. God damn it, you son of a bitch! <laughs> I'm gonna win that lawsuit. I'm gonna win that lawsuit, Floyd. I'm coming for you. The fury, the fury thing's a little bit. I mean, this is Jake's like first, not his first test, but it's the first time he's fought like a real boxer, like a technical boxer, not just a combat yeah, combat right, sports guy. Tommy's not even gonna show up. No, no. <laughs> that's true. No, you, that, really, that, you really think so? I don't no. think he's gonna show up. I think. Let me tell you why. That's so like. You can't do that. He's done he, it. He's so done it twice. Much, yeah, twice. He has yeah, done he, it He didn't twice. come up to the last press conference, right? No, 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 bro. My brother was slated to actually fight him twice. Contract yeah, yeah. either done or next to being done, and he dipped. He flaked. Yeah, Jake's twice. lost a lot of money. Not just, this. not just, not just hasn't shown up to like a, a face to face or like a press actual conference, fight. which he also hasn't done this fight. But when you when you sign up to fight my brother, it's so much more than just the actual fight. Oh yeah, he, he's he he is a menace. He torments you. On social media, I know. trolls you the whole entire time. I know. And then, bro, when you're in the ring against this fucking yep. YouTuber and he hits you for the first time, yeah, you're just like, and it's a little harder. Power. It's a little harder than you expected. Yeah. It takes a toll on you. No one wants to be the guy that gets knocked out by Jake Paul. They Surely, if he Tyra doesn't Woodley. show up the next time, it's just an automatic loss. Oh, J yeah, I feel like, it'll, it, like Jake will crazy. never give him an opportunity. No. I almost feel it's funny that you say all that stuff about how Jake is such like a multifaceted like pro problem child, if you will. I wonder sometimes if he like, if he'll start having to like not be such a menace because he just scares everyone off. No, nah, that's that's. Sick. Do, do, do you know what I'm saying? That's all saying? part like, of it, like the no, mental. No, no, game no, no. But he it. goes, bro. Like I remember when he when uh when the the Tommy's girlfriend or whatever announced the baby. Molly May. Molly May announced the baby, and he said, "Just in time, born just in time to watch his dad get his ass." <laughs> Like, bro, like, he just doesn't have, like, a single off switch, bro. No, and I think like, the best line he said, he's like, I thought he was good at pulling out. And I'm like, oh. No, he's, no, he's <laughs> like, he's a fucking monster, bro. And That's going to be exciting, though. Hopefully he does show up so then we can see it happen. I think he's, I think he's coming to this one. I, something in my heart tells me he's coming to I this one, so. dude. I hope so. <laughs> if he doesn't, like, he shouldn't be able to box again. Like no, he's not I don't know. You know why? What's, no, what's the trade off? Super disrespectful. Uh -uh. What's yeah, the trade off? What's the trade off from pulling out three times? Yeah, everyone will think he's a he's a fucking puss, which sucks. Or living for the rest of your life 
being face planted by Jake Paul. Like that picture, that meme. I would have more respect. Like as a competitor, I would have more respect if you show up. Yeah, Yeah, big time. Like everyone loses. Oh my God. He he buried himself now because if he does get brutally memed, it's like after. Tommy don't want that, dude. No one wants No, 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 no. Agreed. But but, but when you walk (laughs) out after, but when you walk out after that, Knowing that that's what Jake Paul does to people, you walk out th- and if you would, if he had gone in after the fir- on the first fight, not pulled out, walked in and got fucking slapped in the middle of the ring, he would have walked out and people would have been like, "Yo, you got in the fucking ring against yeah. somebody that knocked combat sports greats out." Yeah. See you in the yeah. next fight. Just like everybody else that's gotten knocked out, they all get twenty more fights after. They're all getting paid. I think if you yeah. don't show up to fight, it was just like being back in high school. Yeah, if scared. you didn't show up to your scheduled three p.m. fight at the playground. That was far worse than getting your fucking head smashed in. Far worse, bro. Mike used to be at West Side Stories. <laughs> <laughs> but like, surely, like you right, going right? into that, like, like the if ring you didn't with show Floyd, up, bro. There's no coming back from that. Even if you'd lo- like, even if you got like clean knocked out, the fact that you got in there with Floyd, yeah. I wouldn't. You, I don't care how much uh, you pay me, bro. I would never go in there. That was that was my logic, though. And that's I, my I, point. I, I thought I thought you know what? Even if I do get knocked out, you got in there, bro. It's Floyd, because that's like the more of a mental battle, just preparing to put yourself in that position. Well, bro, yeah, it was intense. What, yeah, Floyd's the size of George. But, but think about getting in the room. Nah, it doesn't matter, bro. I've seen his jabs, bro, on like. Oh, he's got no some way. Spunk, thought, no. But also reverse no. that. It's not Floyd. It's a YouTuber. Yeah, but so, Jake's still unreal, though. Just because he's a YouTuber doesn't no, mean he's a re- he's fucking the real fights, bro. Fuck. No, I've, I've get that. I've but in never, their mental state, like real professionals, I've going never in there. seen him this locked in in my life. Not a single right person now? I know that works harder than Jake. And he and not the issue for his opponents now is. He is, in his head anyways, a legit professional boxer. Yep. It's been his life for three, four years now. The mm. camps are easy for him. The diet's easy for yep. him. The discipline's all easy for him. It's just, it's his lifestyle, and he, and he's in it. So, like, any one of his opponents. So listen, do you care about the UFOs, bro? Like, are you scared about these UFOs being shot I, down? Are you, do, you know what do you know what we're talking about? I don't know what you're talking about, but yeah. I believe no in idea, that sort huh? of stuff. Yeah. No. Does, does it fascinate you? Like, are you a conspiracy yeah, guy? Yeah, massive conspiracy what, guy. What's, really? what's a conspiracy? Just, guy? like... Just don't, like, don't. like, don't, like, you, like you, think that, you think the earth is flat, bro? I don't even know what to believe anymore, but I, yeah, I, okay, I, I, yeah. I like that yeah. answer because uh, you and I, I think we could chat for hours on it about conspiracies. <laughs> yeah, you gotta no, be careful, you'll, one... you'll piss some people off. Yeah, I don't care. I don't no, care. do a fun one. I just don't, there's a couple that I don't want you to do. Well, why? Because then we gotta cut it out. Otherwise, oh, we're no, take, no, no, otherwise no. we're gonna demonetize the no. episode. What's a good what's a conspiracy? We're getting really paid, gets bro. Like I just off. I don't think I mean like okay, we can just say like I don't think the pyramids are man made. Okay, perfect. We can start perfect, there. easy. Easy. Like, I don't think they're man made. Right. They're not man made. Right. I don't think no, so. No way. No way, bro. How do they line up in in, in perfect symmetry all around the earth? Come on, George. Say Me? Something. Yeah, say something. I don't know much about it, so I can't really explain. Okay. I don't think we went to the moon. Yeah, okay. You just, we, just put it, yeah, we can. I think it's more logical to think that at the time we wanted to bankrupt Russia. I, I put those together and I'm like, okay, it makes sense. Yeah, because, how is, no, that, because, how no, is because, that possible? No, because we, America weren't apparently even close to having anything successfully going off. That, that's my and, issue. And, and, I could and, talk about this forever. And we're the country, Not even close. We're the country. Fake it till you make it. Okay, okay. Question. <laughs> question for everybody. <laughs> I got to go. America, I'll, I'm going to, I'll be the, the, the counter guy here okay. as per usual. America had nothing even close, right? Yep. Yet. 50 years later, mm. even actually go back 20 years, 30 years later after we landed, didn't land on the moon, we 100% confirmed we're floating around the moon. 20 what? years wait, later. Wait, what, wait, 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 who? Like, like, who? like, like right no, now, no, there is no, no a international a- space station orbiting, in the sky. Orbiting the earth. Regardless, not the moon. we are in space. Not what? that drastically long comparatively Come to the on. timeline that is time. Come on. To the time we land. Oh no, it was, made in, a, it was made in a Hollywood fucking studio that no, we never landed on the moon. Bro, t- five years after that, we were confirmed in space. I heard a take. I heard a take that was that was interesting. I think it was Joe Rogan that said it. Oh, he's, that's surprising. He, can I help you? So he's not a conspiracy. He doesn't. No, no there's no, certain no, no. He, things. He's from Connecticut, no, bro, and he, he likes everything things, in his household like lined no, up in order. Yeah, there's certain things that I definitely, uh, the pyramids thing we can talk about. But like, bro, like I think. Listen to this take. Listen to this take. It. Rogan's take was that he thinks we very, very well could have made it to the moon, but perhaps they didn't get the footage of it, so then they faked Reshot the footage. It. But how does everybody keep their mouth shut from that shit? That's the one thing. I, you can't rely on humans to. to no, it would have got out. Like Kevin said. It would have got out. 
Bro, bro, listen. listen. <laughs> when you're when you're when you're at the flat earth, what here's the thing about these bubbles, bro. When you're at the Flat Earth Conference, take yeah. it from two guys who've spent time with these communities. Oh, you went there? Oh, we, oh, we, we had to see what was up. We got completely ingrained into the community. When you get into these bubbles, yeah. such as a bubble that exists on Twitter or somewhere else, and you spend time in these silos, there, you could never tell somebody at the Flat Earth Convention that the Earth is not flat. They have every single irrefutable evidence to prove that something we all know is not true is 100% true. So the issue with these conspiracy theories is I think nowadays mm. they provide community. People love the idea of being and having a fun time of yeah. like, yo, aliens created fucking porn, bro. Like porn didn't exist before. Like, <laughs> shut up, dude. Like just fucking shut up. Do something else. Go play tennis. Yeah, I, I agree with that too. <laughs> what the fuck you doing, yeah. dude? There's obviously levels of conspiracies though. The like, pyramids like, one, how did we how were those things built without fucking cranes, bro? That's and, not and I don't think it was possible. those blocks are massive. Those are yeah. like bigger than the doors did. are massive and we don't really need doors that big as humans either. But other Who, who's, species. Who's, yeah. your, who's your starting Pokemon? Oh like original the originals? one. I'd probably have to tip towards Blastoise at the moment. Respect. Oh, I, I, yeah. do, you, do you have Pokemon cards? Yeah, bro. You, oh, you do? Yeah, we have, like, are they I'm a Pokemon are they fanatic. No, nah, well, my brother used to collect heaps of them. I'm more into just Pokemon games, like Pokemon Violet and stuff I played on Nintendo Switch. Like, I'm still going on all these games. On the new ones, yeah. huh? Yeah. I could never really bring myself around to playing. Like, you're traveling so much on planes and you stuff. Got, you need something to do. I would always just go back to, like, Pokemon Red and Blue. Like, the Game Boy Color, I would buy a Game Boy Color yeah, from yeah, eBay yeah, yeah. and then Classic. just, like, play, yeah. run the game Yeah, through. that's cool. Um, but you should, you should collect cards dude because that's like the next step you have money just buy buy one card the market's the market's low right now it'll, it'll yeah yeah maybe go back up. if i if i had one I'd, I'd give you one i'll send you one i'll send you i'll send you like a thing just look at it hold it you'll be like oh shit i kind of like these collectibles it's kind of like you? a cool thing are you trying to sell a Pokemon card to our guests? <laughs> I'm gonna right give now? it to free for free for free <laughs> <laughs> i'll give it to him for free I, I love yeah like it's literally it's a hobby for me no it's fun dude. yeah it's fun how else you pass the time um, just NBA. I watch every game. Damn, you're really? a fanatic, yeah. bro. NBA fanatic. Um, gaming, movies. I just spend some time with my girlfriend too. I got to try and keep her happy. Like she'll like watching TV shows. I don't. I'm not a TV show. Try, try and keep her happy. No, like you know what I mean. Like she wants to go shopping or right. get some food. Like right. Valentine's Day tomorrow. Don't forget. Are you doing some? Yeah, I think we're just going for lunch or something small. Nice. Yeah, but no TV shows. No, nah, not a big TV not show. Not even The Last of Us. No, nah, I I need like a beginning, middle, and end for two hours. I give myself for two hours, and then uh, typically I'm the same way. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can't do that. Yeah. You gotta move. I, I got a show that's really freaking good. He doesn't like What's shows. Oh, but oh, sorry. What's it called? <laughs> Tulsa King. Oh, that show Very is good, fucking bro. awesome. Whoa, really? I'm that writing it down. That show is Whoa, awesome, bro. bro. It's so On Sylvester Paramount. Stallone. Sylvester Stallone, yeah. Really? He gets moved Rushes to Tulsa. this show. It's the it's first so time sick. I've ever watched a show in the first episode. I go, this is my it's favorite so show. All right, all right, I watch it. And it, he it is, is so, unbelievable. He, he really oh, still is Rocky, even at the, like, he's so just still Rocky. But I, uh, think, I think Rocky Balboa is the real person. <laughs> and he just acts like Sylvester, Sylvester Stallone. Stallone. <laughs> Movies yeah. though, you like movies beginning, love middle, movies. and end. What? What's like your... I love romantic comedies. No way! Yeah. Oh, bro. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. friends. You like just friends? No, Ryan no. Reynolds. No, like have you seen the Intern with yeah. Anne Hathaway and Robert De Niro? I you should watch this it. This was a twist that was not expected. Yeah, I didn't see. Yeah. I thought I was thinking more of like horrors and rom coms. Am I think? Yeah, no. I'm actually in talks with the producer of Saw right now. I think I'm trying to get into the movie. Like I want to die on the show, like the die. Oh, fucking sick. way! I'm a real sicker. Like I it's, watch horrors and stuff. It should like be you should die some twisted way with like a tennis racket. Like you, your head gets graded <laughs> by like a tennis racket where like the, it's barbed wire instead of like regular wire. That would be nuts. That would be nuts. But rom coms too. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> to, to go back and forth from that. Or like, or like, yeah, no. but, or but, but 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 I mean, girls love the same. I feel like girls love romantic comedies and horror movies. Yeah. I don't think they like horror movies. I think they like actual documentaries of horrible people. That too. Like that too. Shit. That too. Yeah, yeah. That you're too. right. You're right. You yeah. they, right. Don't like to, they don't like watching the scary movies, but they like watching humans eat. Like that Jeffrey it, Dahmer thing. My girlfriend oh, loved that. Sure, I was like, sure, you're, you're sure. sick. That's why, why the crime podcasts do so well. Yeah. It's, it freaks us out a little bit as men. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, why I don't do you like, like it, it so much. Yeah, I don't like those things. I don't like even watching people get hurt. I could feel it. I don't like it. Yeah. It's so true. All right, bro. We'll let you get out of here. I've got nothing to do, man. So. You want to watch the rest of the Super Bowl on the show with us? Do you want to just sit here for the next four yeah, hours? Halfway through third quarter. Uh, you, you know, you're not worried that when you play basketball, you'll injure yourself for tennis? Um, I, don't, mm, 
I don't really think about it. No, I feel like because when you play another sport and you kind of hold back a little bit, that's when you do get injured. You know what I mean? Like if I'm just uh, going full out and I'm playing with guys that aren't dirty, like it should be, it's good. I use it for uh, fitness. And it's my meditation as well. Tell me about this before you leave. What, Alive. What is, this is your, your drink, Yeah, right? drink. And it's just, it's based in Australia at the moment. And it's like zero sugar, all probiotics. Doesn't, you know, yours is. Can I, can I try one? Yeah. Yeah, you try this. Because um, you guys sent me, you actually sent me a bunch of these. Dude. Not you I, personally, but they sent me. I was, uh, I was watching you at the US Open yep. in New York. And uh, I reached out to our partner who's over there. And I was like, dude, this kid's great. We got to sponsor him. And they, I they, didn't realize you had a. This is really recent. But yeah, this was like zero sugar as well. It tastes pretty good. Oh, this is great. Yeah, it's good, right? What's you want, the. You, want, what's the um, you don't have to. Yeah, you can give it for later. Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah. Oh, this okay. is really good, dude. Oh, you have some. Yeah. They um, what is it? It's a healthy carbonated yeah. so soft drink. You know, like what kombucha is and stuff. Yeah, yeah. it's essentially this, but it actually tastes decent. This is great. Like, that tastes good, right? Oh, this is great. Yeah. yeah, would be something good to drink before a basketball game, and yeah. you have a basketball team. This is delicious. Was it's good? Was that right? Very. This is really delicious. Very. You have a basketball team. What do you mean basketball team? But fuck. Oh you, like, yes, my. Yes, I do have a basketball team. Thanks. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, the Phoenix. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was talking yes, about. Yes, the yes, Phoenix. Yes, exactly. Yes. 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 There are. <laughs> That's really recent too, but um, yeah, I was like- I've been, I've been staying up to date, that's what yeah, I mean. Yeah, no, it's cool. Um, that's what I mean. Like, I think last year on the tennis tour has given me a lot of opportunities. Like, and it's cool because I only really like working with companies and being like partners with people that I'm actually passionate about. I hate just like doing something and I'm just like milking it. Like mm -hmm. I wouldn't actually do any podcast just for fun. Like this was like a no brainer. Dude, thank you. Man. No, but like so I would hate- We got lucky that you were here. Yeah, but I'd hate coming on here and like the people just like, oh, like, <laughs> nah. I don't know. I don't actually like so far. Like I'm too old for that shit now. Mm. Just faking it. Mm. So, no. but yeah, the South Melbourne Phoenix. You know, they didn't make the playoffs this year for the Australian League, but yep. they made the playing games. But no, it's good, man. It's good. Well, bro, we're it, fucking honored to have you on. No, nah, appreciate honor, it. Honored, dude. And you're gonna win a Grand Slam, goddamn it. Hopefully, hopefully. I would love yeah, to. Can you make? Can you make it the U.S. Open? That'd be nuts. Because <laughs> I could. I could go to that. That would be nuts. Yeah, yeah. that'd be crazy. Well, you can't. You can't come to England. I could. I could. Wimbledon you know what? Nuts. You know what? Actually, Wimbledon's a bucket list. Because everyone's yeah, in yeah, white yeah, and you yeah, just yeah. rock up there with all your prime kit on. Yeah, like, that would be right. nuts. <laughs> I just feel so out of place at those events, Who bro. Who cares? Wimbledon's yeah, you're right. You're right. The venue is very small. It's, yeah, it's not as big as the US Open's insane. Massive. So Massive. big. There was a bar, there was like a barber in the stands fading someone's hair. Oh, that was Gideon. Gideon. That's Gideon. our boy. Yeah. That's who we mentioned earlier. That's yeah. fucking crazy. That's our boy. No, he's hilarious. That was nuts. He does He does it in college classes, basketball games. Yeah, it's sick. Um, I'd probably say probably Wimbledon, just because I made the final there. Yeah. Is but, that your favorite surface too? Yeah, grass is my grass. favorite. Because okay, we yeah. we grow up and play on grass in Australia a fair bit. So yeah. yeah, I'm used to it. All right, bro. What's your Instagram? Where can they follow you? Um, it's just it's just Nick Curios. <laughs> hey, good luck spelling <laughs> Curios, <laughs> motherfuckers. Just, yeah. We're gonna leave that up to you. Uh guys, round of applause for Nick Curios. Appreciate it, guys. You, Thank you. You gotta watch him play tennis. Watch him play tennis, even if you don't watch tennis. If he's playing, watch him. Ladies and gentlemen, we love you. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Number one podcast in the world. We'll see you next time. Take it easy. Peace.